What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the shop. Simple one today. We are going to be going over the Golf R's custom catch can I did and why I think it's the best bang for your buck. So let's check it out. So here's the can setup. While it looks pretty simple on the surface, it actually was kind of a pain in the ass to figure out. So I'll explain it to you. So I am still rocking the stock PCV valve, which made it challenging. Most aftermarket catch cans ditch the PCV valve, but due to the rule set I was running for autocross, I needed to keep it and not modify it. And what it does in stock form is there's this line over here that is going into the can. And this is the one that is breathing from the block itself, from the lower crankcase assembly. And normally it goes right here to the PCV valve, this one inch port on the PCV valve. Essentially what I have done is I've pretty much teed the catch can in between the lower crankcase and the head. So coming off of the lower crankcase is the line, it's tucked down in here and it sneaks out over here to this. So it's a one inch down to a dash 10 that's going into the side of the can. And then coming out of the side of the can, there's another dash 10 and this side right here is the side that has the baffling built into right in front of the fitting. And so this one is running out and it is running up to the head. As you can also see, I do not have filters here. I have it plugged up, which I do plan replacing with maybe some dash 10 or dash 12 fittings welded on top, but right now that is what's working for me. Now, the reason the can has these plugs in top and not filters is because I ran filters at first and I had actually a massive vacuum leak. As I learned with the PCV valve still hooked up with those filters on there at idle, it's just, it was idle searching, idle hunting. Doo -doo, because the vent atmosphere was actually a massive vacuum. See, there's some stuff in there, but it's not too bad. Let's just say, for example, I did fill up this catch can and it was pushing all the oil and crankcase pressure here. All it would do is then return to the top of the head and the oil would just be draining in the back of the head. So it's still relieving crankcase pressure the entire time. Also, what these have is there is a fat breather port on the back of the valve cover going to the turbo inlet. Normally what happens as the crankcase pressure is building in your lower crankcase assembly, it's starting to rise up. Well, as you're going full tilt in your car, your oil is getting pumped to your head. Your oil is trying to drain down and the crankcase pressure is trying to go up. Essentially those reactive forces start fighting each other. The gravity trying to drain down and the pressure trying to push up, making the oil drain down not as good and also not letting the crankcase pr pressure relieve is good either. Right here, this was actually the trickiest part of the entire setup going from a one inch hose down to a dash 10. There was no fittings like that I could find, but I did find another solution. So normally, this is a plate that comes by itself that replaces the PCV valve in entirely. So you have two dash 10s coming off of the head and then you have the big one inch that is coming up from the lower crankcase assembly on the block, breathing from the lower crankcase assembly into the head. I looked high and low for a pretty much a one inch barb down to a dash 10, and I could not find any fitting of such made, so this is exactly what it did. I yopped it off, I chopped it off of it, because here it has the one inch, and I actually tapped the inside of it with I believe an M14 or M16 by 1.5, and then threaded an M14 by 1.5 to dash 10 fitting on the other side, which gave me my step down essentially. Because for the line coming off of the lower block, I needed to be able to get this inside diameter just right to get a good seal. So this slides onto this as if it were where it's supposed to be like that one is. Now with this one as well, I had to get a little bit more creative. On a whim, I actually ordered this part from Integrated Engineering and it's pretty much a one inch female to a dash 10 fitting for a Passat or some other type of VW valve cover that you slide on and after you slide it on there's this little clip that you slide on to hold it in place and it has an internal o-ring the only caveat was since it with the internal o-ring and just this clip it wasn't sealing good enough so I actually had to RTV it as well and then now you have a dash 10 coming off of your PCV valve as you can kind of see that's the line coming off of the block right there and that's the reason I had another one of these push on fittings was because I was going to replace the one on the block but as I started to toy with it I realized there's no way I was getting that line out unless I removed all this crap and the intake manifold just to get to that line. And I wasn't doing that. That's why I came up with that little adapter idea of the one inch 
fitting that I chopped down to a dash 10 to go here. Made it much simpler, and if for some reason I ever wanted to revert back to stock, all I have to do is pop this off, route this line back up through right here, and then boom, pop it back on. And I can literally take the can, detach it, sell it, no problem. If I were to make this current catch can even better, here's exactly how I would do it. Yes, there is some baffling in this valve cover, stopping you know oil and kind of particles from going to the turbo inlet, but not all of them. That's why sometimes it still is leaking out of there. What I would do is I would actually cap this off at the valve cover and then run a hose from here to the top of the catch can. Kind of looks like I would weld either a dash 12 or dash 14 fitting on top of the can. And so run a push barb to maybe like a dash 12 on that side and then run it to the top of the can. So essentially what happened, it would breathe up from the block into the side of the can, excess crankcase pressure and stuff would also vent or oil, etc. would vent into this opening on the valve cover and then at the top of the can, making moving the oil farther away from the inlet, it would actually make it much harder for oil to get sucked up from the can and then into the turbo inlet via this this line right here, if you can see it, kind of hard to see. In my opinion, that would be the probably best way to set this up, but as of right now, it's working really well. I've already ran probably four or five autocrosses with this exact setup, and I'm getting virtually no blow by. I'm not filling that can at all, and I've ran two mini track days on it, going for probably 10, 15 minute sessions, and it's not filling the can up at all. When it comes to relieving crankcase pressure, you cannot go too big dash 10s, dash 12s, etc. but you can go too small. Too small of a line will actually create more back pressure and actually, in my opinion, take more oil into the can, filling it up faster with smaller line. Let's break down the cost of this setup real quick as well. This fitting alone was actually kind of expensive, about 40 bucks for this fitting. The plate that I chopped in half that has the one inch going to the dash 10, this plate is also about 60, 70 bucks. Can itself though is only 50, 60 bucks. I got it on Amazon, I'll include a link down below. And the rest of the lines were out of a line kit I already had with fitting so you can get a dash 10 line kit from evil energy for a hundred bucks and get multiple fittings and probably like six to or six to ten feet of line this can probably cost me roughly 250 to build while the other cans on the market are four to five hundred dollars they are also closed loop systems but the liters of the can size is much less as well this can is a 1.2 liter while the other kits I saw offered like 500 milliliters to 750 milliliter cans this one's almost doubling that size and it's much cheaper than them as well and it's working better I have other buddies that have BWs and GTI that like got the Africa plate and got the little built-in kit with the kind of smallish can and they still had massive blow-by issues even at autocross. As you can see here I did have to come up with some custom brackets, steel bar that I bent, measured and bent, boom, and then I have some coming right here holding this can pretty sturdy. So with a little bit of kind of engineering, taking some measurements, you can build a much cheaper can that actually, in my opinion, is working much better than the ones offered off the shelf. Now, if you don't want to go through the hassle of everything I did to keep the stock piece V, you don't have to do that as well. You can ditch it and just run this plate and then run your two lines off of the plate to the can as well. Yeah, this plate would just go here. It would replace your PCV valve and then it has the big one inch right here. So instead of doing this coming from the block, you could put the block up to here and then you could just do two dash tens coming off here to the can and then you could do two filters as well since now you no longer have the PCV. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I did do a custom intake to kind of complement this catch can as well. Make sure you subscribe, like, and just follow along for future videos. Y'all have a good one now. Peace out.